Hi, this is Tammy from Rebel Canners, and I'm here today to talk to you about salt. I get asked a lot of questions about salt, and I'm here to answer some of the most frequently asked questions. The number one most asked question is, do I have to add salt? Well, that kind of depends. What are you canning? When I can meat, I cut the salt in half because that's only in there for flavor. I want a low sodium product. I don't want a lot of salt in it. I don't like a lot of salt for flavor. And so I only use half of what the standard is, which is one teaspoon per quart. I use a half. If I'm doing a pint, I use a quarter because the standard is half a teaspoon. But I also use the pink Himalayan sea salt and the flavor is a little more intense with that. I don't need as much salt for flavor. So I adjust it. But then when I'm doing something like water bathing pickles, I don't mess with my salt, my water, and my vinegar ratio in that recipe. That's really important. When I ferment pickles, I have to make sure that I have a fermented recipe and know that that ratio of salt, water, and vinegar is different than my recipes for water bathing pickles. And I don't want to mess with that ratio. That ratio is very important to having a good product. So it's there for preservative, it's there for flavor, and I don't want to mess with that. So I don't mess with the salt. Even though I'd rather have a lower sodium product, I know it's important to leave it in there for those kind of recipes. So the answer to that question is it depends. It really depends. It depends on you. It depends on your taste. And it depends on what you're canning because the purpose of the salt varies depending on why it's added. And, and you sometimes you can tell, you know, a teaspoon is there for flavor. More than a teaspoon, it's there to help with preservation. So to answer your question, it depends. Not all salts are good for canning. Your standard table salt, and I posted a picture with that. Come on, put a insert it here. Is not good for canning. It is full of fillers. I'm not even sure what those are. Hmm. And it also is loaded with iodine. Okay, but you need iodine in your diet. You do, but a lot of times people will have questions about why did I get this black spot on the top of my canning jar lid after I can something, or why is there black dots on my pickles, or you know, oh, why did my food turn a funny yellow color in the canning jar? That's the iodine. So I have an allergy to iodine, so I can only use kosher salt that does not contain iodine, or Himalayan pink sea salt is my preference. Um, I also get a salt, I can't think of what the name of it is called, it's really called real salt. <laughs> Looks sort of like a cross between regular salt and pink Himalayan sea salt. I get it in bulk from the Amish. That one I've also not had problems with because any iodine in there is natural sea salt iodine and not the artificial iodine. So I haven't had the same problems with it as I have with the iodine added salt. So just a tip, if you're planning on canning, go to the extra two seconds to go down the aisle and grab a box of kosher salt. Or if you have pink Himalayan sea salt, go ahead and use it. Realize it does have some natural iodine and don't freak out if you see little black spots on some of your foods sometimes. I haven't really had an issue with that, but it has been known to happen. So just be aware that it can happen if you're using something other than the kosher salt. And I'll put a picture of all the salts that I talk about um, here. So, 
I just wanted to talk about that because it comes up a lot and I just want to be able to answer your question. If you have any more questions, email them to me, post them in Rebel Canners on Facebook. Like us, follow, subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. Have a great day.